Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. In today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at my compost bins to see how they're progressing. Now, just a quick review. I have like a large Johnson Sioux or modified Johnson Sioux bin. And I have another bin that was getting pretty close to being finished. And then I had a third bin where I did a combination of grass and leaves. First up is my modified Johnson Sioux. Now, I started this been in uh, mid-November and right now it's sitting about 90 degrees and it's been that way for about the last I don't know four or five six weeks something like that let's kind of dig down and see what we've got going on I've well, we got some warm activity in there let's see it's pretty good let's see if we can get down a little further oh. we have a grub we'll get rid of that guy Moisture here looks pretty good. You know, the material is definitely breaking down, but it seems to be pretty consistently moist, but not wet. Let's see if we can get down a little bit further here. Yeah, so this is definitely looking promising. It's nowhere near done, but I don't really expect this bed to be, or this bin, I should say, to be ready until uh, fall of net or spring of next year and that's when I would need to use it We'll check another section of the same bin There's a nice good size uh, composting worm there Dig down a little further on this one. I think I saw another grub in there Get rid of that one those are probably uh, Japanese beetles most likely there's some trash. That's always useful. And some more worms. The moisture throughout the pile seems to be pretty good. And it's breaking down about the timeline I would expect it to be. Uh, being roughly, what is it, seven months old or so. The material level is not quite to the halfway point yet. Um, probably another month or two, I'll be right at the halfway point. Now this Johnson Sioux bin is two pallets wide. So once the material in it drops below the halfway point, I'm gonna combine the two bins into just one bin that's all the way full. And now I'll free up a new slot as a new compost bin. Now this is the compost bin that was just about done. I did put like a kind of a thick layer of dried grass on there. And I find it really helps to keep moisture within the pile. Now, I'm already seeing worm activity in here. So this thing has turned into like a giant worm bin for myself. So as we dig down in here, this material is looking really good. It's nice and loose, but yet it can hold together. We'll zoom in and take a closer look as we dig down. Now this material is all pretty well broken down and there's a good healthy supply of worms in there. So AJ this is my giant worm bed. Hope you enjoy that part. So this material, I would say, is ready for use. I don't actually need it right now, so I'll just continue to let it break down. But at this point, it is definitely ready. This last bin is the grass and leaves bin. Now the temperature on this bin is sitting about 80 degrees. And just like my other bin, I do have kind of a thick layer of dried grass on the top to help retain the moisture. Now, the material level on this has dropped a lot. You know, when I first started, it was the bin was pretty much full. And now we're down to, I don't know, maybe eight to 10 inches. It is a long ways from breaking down at this point. The leaves are all matted together. But we do have, oh, let's see, I, I can tell, so that inner part here is definitely dry. 
So with the center layer being dry like this, that's definitely not going to break down. So we got to get some more moisture and mix this pile up again. Since that crescent leaves bin definitely needs more moisture and needs to be flipped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of cardboard over top of that compost pile that's already pretty much done, and I'll flip it onto there. Um, that'll help keep the overall volume in that bin full and allow me to start another bin. Thanks for coming along on my composting adventure. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you got something out of it. And for those that stuck around to the end here, I'm going to include just a little bonus, which is composting, but it's not inside a bin. This is one of my in-ground beds where I covered it with a heavy layer of leaves and then the spring I put some grass clippings on top of that. So let's pull this material aside real quick so we can take a look at it. So this material is all turning into kind of a compost in itself. It's loose but yet it holds together and it'll break apart. So that soil is looking really nice. Let's take a look at another spot. Another area here. Again, really nice looking soil in here. I do get some roots from the trees next, next to this area, but for the most part, the soil is looking really nice. So this is kind of like an in-bed composting I'm doing here.